Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel, Minimum Player Account. I am Stephanie and today we're taking a look at Backyard Chickens. This is by Don and Adrian Gilstrap and produced by August Games. So without further ado, let's get started. So what are you gonna be doing in Backyard Chickens? In the first step, you're gonna be collecting your eggs. Now, you will have two chickens in front of you and the blue number will dictate how many eggs that chicken actually lays. After your chicken has laid eggs, you will also be paying attention to if you need to mature any eggs that you currently have. That is from previous rounds when you have bought a new chicken, you will then place that chicken in your area and on this round, you would then mature that chicken. Now you also have to know if you do have any chickens that are unhappy because they did not get water, you do have to minus two eggs from the production that that chicken would make. Step two is drawing six cards. Now since this is a deck building game, you will have your own deck of cards and you will draw six cards. From those cards that you have in your hand, you're going to have to feed and water each of your chickens. Now each chicken shows symbols to tell you how much food and water they actually require to make them happy. Sometimes you can also give your chickens different treats as notated on their cards and that will make them really happy which makes them get more bonus points and more eggs so that's a win-win. Now step three is going to the market. Now when you go to the market you can buy different cards that will help you gain more food, chickens, or different kinds of treats. Sometimes it also will give you special abilities that will let you draw cards from your discard pile, things like that. After you have either bought in some cards and in this phase you can buy more than one different kind of card, you can then go and buy a chicken at the same time. Once per round, you can buy a new chicken. You can also clear the market offerings. If you do think that the market offerings that are out are not very good, you can pay one egg to clear off the entire board and place a new row of market cards. If you also think that the chicken offerings aren't that great, you can pay two eggs to clear out the market offering and place out new chicken cards. If you have 12 eggs, which is a lot of eggs, you can sell those eggs and go up the blue ribbon track. Now, the blue ribbon track is important because that dictates the end of the game. When a person reaches 10 blue ribbons, that signifies the end of the game. Now, anyone else after that will be able to play one more round. That triggers the end of the game where you'll be adding up your points for that game. Another option that you have during this phase is to trash cards. If you pay three eggs, you can trash a card from your discard. This is a permanent move so that way you can can kind of thin out your deck so you have more cards that mean are more valuable to you. The fourth and last step is cleaning the coop. Now during this step you're going to check to see if any one of the players that are currently playing have triggered the end game scoring. You will be discarding any cards that are left over in your hand or if you do have some water cards you can put them up into the water storage to save those cards for later and you're going to pass the first player token. Then the whole game starts all over again, starting with the first player who now has the first player token, and we continue on until a person triggers the end game scoring. And that is an overview of how you play Backyard Chickens. Now there are different modes to Backyard Chickens and I'm only covering one of them. Uh, there's a B side to this, which actually adds in events um, to the game, which make it a little bit more challenging and maybe just a little bit more satisfying to play, depending on if these event cards help you or hurt you. This is again, a Kickstarter game and this is a Kickstarter preview that I have. So be aware that some of these components are subject to change and some of the rules can also change later as the game is being produced. Now, I to thank August Games for sending me this to play and preview for you. Again, this is currently out on Kickstarter. I will be linking that down below in the description for you. And I'm going to be making a thoughts video that I will link up above for you and also down below so that you can see my thoughts on this game. But I do want to thank you all for watching. And if you have any questions on how this game plays or uh, different questions about the theme or anything like that, feel free to ask me questions down below. I do appreciate you asking or talking to me about these games because I love producing content for you all. I do also have a merch store, so I will link that down below as well if you want to buy some of my, some of my merch. Um, thank you all for watching and I will see you next time.